Well, again, like everything else, I would suggest that we have more than one test. Yeah. So flexibility is typically passive. So we could have a passive test for, for a range of motion just to check the full range of motion that the individual would have. But of course, during a, uh, a football game, the, we, we almost never would go to a full range of motion. So I think if we would classify them, we need to measure the active range of motion uh, first. And so we could do that by doing dynamic kicks and then uh, we can use uh, what are called goniometers. You could strap this device onto the individual's leg and hip, and it will measure the change in range of motion as they kick forwards, backwards, uh, side to side, abduction, abduction. Or we could use a, a video camera and then measure that range of motion afterwards. But I think the active, active dynamic range of motion is the most important, but still we should include measures of, of um, of passive range of motion 